Hello friends, let us discuss a high yield topic, neutrophil extracellular trap. We all know the functions of neutrophils like phagocytosis, production of reactive oxygen species which will kill the pathogen, release of microbicidal molecules from the granules. Okay. So, these are all the known functions. Recently, they have found that neutrophils, they trap pathogens by neutrophil extracellular trap. So, the trap we can understand. So, the word extracellular that means the trap is extracellular not inside the neutrophil. Okay, phagocytosis happens and it kills the pathogen inside the neutrophil, but here it is going to happen in the outside. See this, what you are seeing is the beautiful picture of neutrophil extracellular trap. NET is nothing but a meshwork of chromatin fibers. Okay, these are the chromatin fibers you can see, see the chromatin fibers decorated with granule derived antimicrobial peptides like your myeloperoxidase enzymes, cathepsin, all these things. Okay. So, these will trap pathogens. See, this is the electron microscopic picture. You can see the bacteria here. Okay. So, they are trapped and see this, this is your meshwork of chromatin and you are also seeing studded peptides, cathepsin, myeloperoxidase, okay, all these. Because if you just trap the pathogen, that is not enough. You need enzymes to kill the pathogen also, right? That is why these enzymes and proteins are also there, okay. So, in the first, if you see, this is your neutrophil. This is your DNA, okay. So, the nucleus DNA is condensed, okay, it is highly condensed and this green color circle, it denotes your peptides, okay, this granule containing peptides, okay. To form the trap, that is your chromatin fibers should undergo decondensation, okay. So, that is the, this is depicted here, this is going decondensation and granules are also opening up. Okay, the membrane of the granules opening up. Ultimately, this decondensed DNA and the granules are coming out. Okay, so this is similar to your apoptosis, that is the programmed cell death. As this is happening in neutrophils because of neutrophil extracellular trap, this has been called netosis, N E T O S I S. Okay. So, apoptosis because of this neutrophil extracellular trap is known as netosis. Clear? This netosis it is triggered by pro inflammatory cytokines like TNF alpha, interleukin 8, platelets, activated endothelial cells, nitric oxide, monosodium urate crystals. See, in gout, there is accumulation of monosodium urate crystals. They elicit this inflammatory response. That is why in acute attack of gout, the primary treatment is to stop the inflammation. That is why we give colchicine. Colchicine is a mitotic tubule inhibitor. So, it will inhibit the chemotaxis and movement of the pseudopodia formation. All this will be inhibited by colchicine. Okay. We give steroids to suppress the inflammation. In acute attack of gout, you do not give allopurinol, okay. So, because monosodium urate crystals, it is a trigger for netosis, okay. Clear? Even though urate is not a pathogen, our body detects this as a foreign substance, clear? Autoantibodies, they will also trigger netosis. Now, let us see how exactly this Netosis happens. See, nucleus is a condensed thing. How this decondensation happens? That is what we are going to see. DNA is negatively charged. This negatively charged DNA is bound by positively charged 
keystone proteins okay mainly your arginine and lysine okay so in eukaryotic organisms and all we know that acetylation favors euchromatin formation okay that is in the regulation of gene expression we cannot use the same tactic here this is a ex entirely different thing here it is netosis so that is why nature has selected instead of acetylating lysine residue nature has decided for this process see there is citrullination of arginine residues what is citrullination citrulline you know right citrulline is an amino acid in the urea cycle okay hmm? if you see the structure of citrulline and arginine there is just difference in the nh group okay what is amino group nh2 is amino group nh is amino group okay when it is just n plus it will be quaternary ammonium we say okay this is amino amino quaternary ammonium this is your ammonia okay nh3 is ammonia clear so here there is deimination loss of amino group okay arginine you know arginine is the most basic amino acid okay the pk value is high okay it is the most basic amino acid and it contains which group delta guanidino group okay so we are removing a amino group from that delta guanidino group ultimately you will get citrulline okay so this positive charge is lost okay so now this arginine can no longer bind to the negatively charged dna the enzyme involved is peptidyl arginine deaminase okay it is deamination not deamination deamination calcium is involved we see many times calcium intracellular increase in the calcium it will result in the death of the cell right okay remember that so this is how chromatin decondensation happens clear we can detect netosis by amino histochemical analysis using fluoro fluorescence microscopy okay so let me show you the picture of netosis okay this is a short video see this you can see that there will be decondensation see this it's beautifully depicted in this video see there is decondensation and now see extracellular trap is formed right see this is the extracellular trap clear are you getting this good this process netosis is a double edged sword okay we know that immune system is good for our health but it can also produce autoimmune reaction in the same way netosis can also cause autoimmune disorders okay in aberrant activation of netosis will lead to autoimmune disorders clear and defective clearance of neat okay this neutrophil extracellular traps needs to be cleared by other cells like macrophages okay if they are not cleared what will happen our nuclear material is exposed anti nuclear antibodies will be produced okay so this is also a reason for autoimmune disorders okay now this is a past question which of the following amino acid is crucial in the formation of neat the answer is very simple it is arginine in future they can ask which of the following post translation modification is involved in formation of neat deamination deimmunization hydroxylation acetylation something like that they can give so the answer will be deimmunization okay that is why i have shown you 
the structure and all in a detailed way. Demination. Okay. So with this, we complete neutrophil extracellular trap. Thank you. Thank you.